Yo, what is up guys, in this video I'll be showing you how you can edit a Fortnite montage slash highlights video just like Zack. So as you guys saw, it's like the most clean style and it's like the style that's trending now for montages. So uh, I'm gonna show you how you can do exactly what you guys saw. So uh, I have my clip lined up with the song. The song is Going Bad Feet Drake by Meek Mill and this is a Mongrel Classic 200 clip so I'm gonna just play it so you guys can see that sync. Wait, at first, now I'm just gonna switch the DIM to like lower volume because you guys sometimes complain about my volume and uh, this should, yeah that should be good. And uh, yeah, make sure the playback is on quarter resolution. It helps a lot and uh, make sure to unlink the clips right now I'm gonna show you guys how to do the velocity that stack uses so add a speed point on the kill or where the marker is placed and uh, go 30 frames back so since that O2 right now uh, it'd be uh, 32 because so if your project is 60 FPS uh, how do I explain this? You know what? Let's just let's just go frame by frame. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Alright, so he, he likes to put it around 30 frames back. And here's where we're going to want to add a speed point. And uh, go 15 frames forward, so... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Add another speed point. This is crucial right here because it needs to be exactly in the middle. And make the first one 50. Make the second one 20. And uh, go. So where the last speed point is right here. Go two frames in front. So 1, 2. And then just stretch it out so it's that big. And uh, just drag it all the way back. And make sure the last speed is at 50. And uh, now for the kill part right here, make sure that this is around 60 frames. So uh, yeah, since it's at 02 right now, make sure that the next one you find is at 02. So uh, 02 right here, and then find the next 02. The so next 02 is right where is it? So yeah, here's how it should look like. And I'm actually gonna shorten it a bit more to like 50 frames, so uh, it should look good right here. And uh, yeah, let me just play it. And uh, as you guys can see, I'm just gonna play the velocity so you guys see that it's actually like sax. And uh, yeah, it speeds up at the end a lot. And uh, now. You're going to want to add an adjustment clip over top of the kill. And uh, make. And then cut this right here. So it's as long as the like the kill part, and uh, just cut the remaining of the adjusting clip. This doesn't really matter. And uh, for the kill, go into your file explorer, and uh, here's where I actually dropped the free sack presets. So uh, um, I'm going to my sack folder. Here's the sack, there's the sack flicker impact. Put it in the in the project. And just make sure to connect everything. Don't worry, everything's already keyframed for you, so there should really be no problem uh, with the keyframes. And uh, as you can see, it is pretty laggy, but it's okay. I think I'm gonna just put the playback uh, to smart right here, render cache. And uh, now for the build up, make sure to go 40 frames back. So since it's at 02, you'd want to put it at 22. That's just simple math. And uh, drag it over top and then cut it where the kill starts. And then just trim this part off. And then just place it down like that. 
and uh, now here's where I actually dropped also the sack build up and this build up comes pre shake and a warp it it's like the it's like one in my opinion one of the best build ups there is just for highlight and montages and as you can see this is also keyframe perfectly so it uh, let me just as you can see here everything looks normal and then as you keep going it just it looks very like it pulls it back and uh yeah right here and now uh now that we're done with the first clip uh i'm actually gonna drag on a second clip so uh, let me just go find one all right guys so now that i found my second clip that i want to use make sure to sync it with the next beat drop so i think next beat drop will be all right, it's not hard beat drop, but this right here is like the next big beat drop. So I'm gonna just put it, um, put a marker on it, and go and find where the siphon starts. So it would be right here for the kill, and add a marker on it, trim it down, and make sure it lines up, and then trim it back up. So and for here, like just copy the same velocity uh unlink the clips obviously and uh go uh add a speed point on the kill go 30 frames back since it's, at, since it's at 51 51 minus 30 would have to be 21 uh add a speed point and then go to the middle 21 plus 15 would be 36 add another speed point and then just copy exactly what i did 50 on the first one 200 and then on the last speed point stretch it two frames and just drag this all the way back so the last keyframe lines up with the kill and make the last speed 50 and also make the like the kill part 50 frames so since it's at 51 next would be 41 so i'm gonna just uh do that And uh, now guys, as you can see, let me just play it back. And uh, I'm gonna just drag on like the impact that I used before uh, for the, for just for the tutorial. It, he literally uses like the same impact most of the time, so. And just drag it back so it fits. And I'm not gonna overuse the build up because that's, no editors do that. They don't use the same build up twice like consecutively and uh yeah bas that's basically it now i'm just gonna show you a transition uh it's i it's uh just one for my edit pack nothing special uh just add an adjustment clip over top at like the beginning of everything go into the fusion tab and uh go into my edit pack you guys should have it downloaded it's the best edit pack for the mature resolve transitions and I'm just gonna do uh, zoom in this is one that kind of uses sometimes uh, but yeah, it's, it's, it's just what everyone like everyone uses this type of transition add a marker on where you see the second keyframe and uh, just trim it down a lot like I said I'd say that is good then just cut it in between the clips or put it in between the clips and uh, yeah, it's gonna be very laggy, but that's just how it is. And uh, drag this up a bit. And uh, yeah, make sure to make now everything a compound clip. I know what I'm doing, guys. Just, just, just go along with the tutorial. And uh, now what we're gonna do is drag in looks. This is for the color correction, obviously. And uh, yeah, just apply it. Go into the uh, effects tab and edit look. And here, what you're going to want to do is go into the SPR7 CC and get the SAC CC. This is the CC that he uses all the time. As you can see, the, it like it makes like the blue more light blue. And uh, it just makes the saturation a bit higher. And uh, yeah, I think that should be it for the tutorial. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to drop a like, subscribe. And uh, yeah, share this to every Dimension Resolve user. Because this is like the most helpful 2021 uh, highlights tutorial. So yeah, just drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.